Hi right, guys, welcome to day 19 of the vlog. How's it going? Like I said, this week's been a lot of editing. I was working on some of these editing projects and I thought of a way that could make my life a little bit easier when I get into the editing room, just by doing one simple thing on set. So what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna set up a little fake shoot in the garage here, fake two camera shoot. Then I'm gonna try this, this trick that I thought of, bring it into the editing suite, see how it works, see how it feels. Maybe this will be helpful for you guys in the future and maybe I'll start using it for some of my shoots. Also, this is a good time to test out some new CFast cards that I bought because I've seen some mixed reviews online, but I found them on sale brand new, so I went ahead and bought them. So test those out real quick, throw those in to the Pocket 6K. They're the Lexar 3500X cards, and I think they're gonna work pretty well for me. So we'll test those out as well, and we'll see if this trick is gonna work or not. So yeah, let's get started. So here's what we got. We're gonna have cam A right here as our main shot. Camera B right here is the side angle. So let's try it out. Okay, so normally what would happen is on set, you know, the person who's being interviewed would be sitting here and then you'd have a camera operator here, probably a camera operator on the second camera as well. And then you know, you'd have a couple other people around. If it's a bigger shoot, you know, you've got a director, you've got all these people around. So let's say for example, you're doing like a video on, and it's like a presentation. So somebody's presenting something. And so they have like five different points that they're gonna make. So you're gonna cut in between each five points because they're gonna need to gather themselves, get their notes, you know, their talking points, all those kinds of things. You're gonna start off, they're gonna be sitting here. Somebody on set is gonna come in with a slate or maybe you'll just clap in front of the both cameras to sync them up. Hey, interview person, can you clap for us to sync up the takes? Yeah, sure. So then maybe the producer or director is gonna to talk to the person on camera and get them prepped for the take, right? So like, hey, remember, like, bring some energy. This is the beginning of everything. This is the first takes. So you wanna be ready for this. Whenever you're ready for section one, you can start. What typically will happen is you'll see all of that, like, after you press record stuff, you have to go in and, like, chop that off, cut it right when the person starts talking, and stop it right after they stop talking. Usually you'll do that at the beginning, so you just have, like, all the content lined up in your sequence, and then you can just edit based on the content. You don't have all the other fluff there. That's kind of the first step in the editing process, at least it is for me. So I was thinking, you know what you could do on set is you could actually have somebody sitting there with an app. And so Rode has, what is it called? The Rode Reporter app. You have a little record button here. You have like flags, you have your library of takes, you have all this stuff, right? So my thought was is like, what if you had somebody who's just sitting there waiting for the person to talk, waiting for all of the fluff to happen at the beginning of the shot. So they wait for the person to talk, boom, they hit the record button right when they start talking, right? And then they just let that record throughout that whole take. And as soon as they're done talking, boom, they hit stop, right? So if you do that, then you can just take all of these takes sync those up in your editor, and then you know exactly where the person starts and stops talking, and then you can just make your cuts based on the takes that you have from your phone. So you hit end. If you wanted to, you could even put notes in here and be like, section two, good take. You know, take one was the best take. You know, you can make notes in there, save that, and then when those export, those are gonna come into your timeline with like section two, good take. So you're gonna be able to edit super fast if you have some of this stuff set up. I'm gonna do a couple fake sections so we can bring in the editor and try this technique out. All right, let's do it. Section one, section one, whenever you're ready. Okay, hi, this is Cody Piper. This is gonna be section one of the video. I love this company so much, and that's what section one is about. Great job, everybody. All right, that was good, Cody. Let's cut. Okay, we're gonna cut, and let's do section two. We were so guys, let's take this footage Let's bring in our clips from our phone as well, and let's bring them in the editor. And I'm gonna see for myself too if this little test is gonna work for the future. See if this is gonna save me any time or make anything uh, easy for me. All right, let's do it. All right, we have a special appearance from Lindsay Warren in the vlog. What do you wanna to say to the vlog, Lindsay? What's up, NSFAM? I like to show you my garden. Nice, <laughs> nice. Oh wait, and these are jalapeno peppers. Oh, well, those look good. And this is my cilantro, basil. This is my dog. <laughs> And this is my life. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> Comment, subscribe, like below. <laughs> Have our pocket 6k clips we have our a6500 clips and we have our road reporter clips which are just audio clips we're gonna click on the first one and then hold shift to click on the last one that's just gonna select all of our interview clips 
right click and we're gonna create multi-camera source sequence. So basically this is gonna take the multiple cameras and multiple audio clips, sync them all together. Let's go ahead and make just a whole new sequence. Edit V1. So we're gonna take all of these multi-cam sources, bring all of those in to a new timeline. Now check this out. All these little clips here that are just the audio clips are only when the person's talking because I had someone on set pressing record every time the person started and stopped talking. So now what we can do is we can just untoggle all of these tracks so that way when I press the up and down arrows, it would just go to the audio clips and then at each spot, select the clips, make a cut there. Could even do it like this. Just press C, get the blade tool, hold shift and that's gonna make a cut on all of the tracks. So you can just go right, right to where your clips stop and start. And then you can go in and then just highlight, take out. If you watch my keyboard shortcut video, you know you can press four and then you'll get ripple delete. Boom, look at that. That was like insanely fast. And now I know exactly when I started and stopped talking, cut out all the fluff in between and I'm left with a clean timeline. So now I can just disable all of those clips, disable the B cam audio, because that's not the good audio. Keep the A cam audio, disable B cam just for a second so we can see A cam. Okay, hi, this is Cody Piper. This is gonna be section one of the video. I love this company so much, and that's what section one is about. Hi, my name is Cody, and welcome back. This is section two of our video, and I really, really love the company that I work for, and that's why we're making this video. And then I even have right here, it says section two bad. So I now I know just at a glance too, this was the bad take. So I can just delete that one out, and then I have my good take here. This is, I don't know, I, I think this is pretty smart. I like this. I'm gonna try to start doing this from now on when I have enough crew to be able to have just one person on their phone stopping and starting and making notes for me. Hmm, I'm gonna have to try this. Let me know if this tip would be helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys have some kind of uh, alternative way of doing this that you think works as well. I'd love to hear it because I'm always looking for ways to get things moving faster. Yeah guys, that's gonna be the end of day 19 right there. We don't need to do anything else. That's it. That's good, that's good stuff. All right, cool. Well guys, comment down below what you thought, like the video, subscribe for more videos. We got a vlog tutorial today, guys. It's a tutorial. <laughs> so we'll see you tomorrow for day 20. We're getting close to the end of this challenge. This is fun. I really didn't want to vlog today, but this one was fun. It ended up being fun. Okay, cool. Bye.